Okay, we're gonna do a uh, whoop. Yeah, balloons. Balloons falling from the ceiling. All right, we're gonna do a mouse. Take a rat. Um, actually, a guy asked me to do this, so we're gonna go through this quickly. Um, he said he just gonna wanted the head, but we're gonna do the whole body just to get it through. But basically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the black, about four fingers uninflated or so. Very important that you get the right amount of air in there. Not too much, not too less. So that will work fine. But basically, just make a bubble, about a four-finger bubble, small bubble, ear twist. Give it a squeeze, make a fold twist, and then tuck the um, ear twist into the fold twist. So basically, you have that. Then we're going to do another small little bubble, another ear twist, squeeze it, fold, wrap it around, squeeze that ear twist through the fold twist to get our ears. Also makes very nice little panda ears as well. I also do a hippo this way as well. Um, twist off another bubble so you get these two the same size. Make sure you leave a long uh, piece of balloon on the knot so you can actually wrap that around a few times, tuck it through, and make it secure. And then two very small bolt twists. This, I put too much air in it. So I'm actually going to leave some of the air. Now, okay, and then tie it off. So you get this kind of a shape. Then we're going to take our blush 260. I have about four fingers uninflated. We're not going to use the whole balloon, so that's not that important. Wrap that around these two, like such. Come up, wrap it around this here. Really squeeze the balloon really, really hard. So that way, when you go across, there's no inflation. It's actually just balloon that goes straight across. Wrap that around. Come down. Wrap that around again. So we got that. And then a fold twist. A little bit larger. Push that off. And wrap that around. So we get this kind of a style. And then this actually. This piece, I'm going to clean this up. I'm just going to cut off the excess off the knot. And then this one just gets pushed up in between. So that way we have a mouse head, like such. Then we're going to do the body. Red, about four fingers uninflated. Small one-inch bubble. Follow that up by one, two ear twists. Do a pinch twist. Fold it over, and those two together. Then you're going to take this, just wrap it around, come around the two ear twists, like that up, to get that kind of effect. That's going to be our body. Um, then we're going to do the shoes and the gloves. Shoes we're going to do with yellow, bubble, fold, twist, wrap that knot around, another bubble, wrap that around. So you get two bubbles with a full, full twist, break that off, save that, tie it, we need two feet, one bubble, fold it, spin it, around, second bubble, around, take off the end. One foot, two foot, we lost our white one, right. now this is going to be the glove, bubble, ear twist, fold, a little bit fast on this one because hopefully if you're doing these you kind of know how to do balloons anyway so don't want to be too redundant. Air twist, pinch twist, fold, twist. This particular balloon I, I saw on the internet years ago. Can't remember where I saw it but I liked it and I just figured out how to make it from a picture and I've been making it ever since. But um these are our gloves. Now for the for the arms and the legs what you're gonna do is you're gonna take three blacks. Just put air in them. Don't actually inflate them. Tie them off. So we got actually two and a half and then another one. This one is going to be for the glove. Put these on prior to putting it on the body, but the legs you will have to do first before you put the shoes on. We have our hands, our body. Wrap these around the ear twist like such. Legs. Push that through. I usually push the tail through, but of course that's the shorter of the two. Bring that 
out one, bring that out the back. The other two legs, lay those just coming out the bottom. So we have our two legs and our tail. You can attach the feet to one side and the other side. And then just attach the head. And now we have a mouse, or you can call it a rat as well. One of the two. Some eyes. You put a little smile on there. And there's a mouse. Okay. Next one.